time, say Monday week, we'll take decisions out. I'll Thank just you. get the nurse to give you an anti tetanus injection. Nurse, just give yes, Mr. Muir an anti tetanus shot, would you? Certainly, Doctor. Would you come this way, please? Right. Who's next? Hugh. Hugh! Hello, Mike. How are you? It must be two years. Well, what's the matter? Are you ill? No. No, I, I, I'm just a bit on edge, that's all. But you look terrible. Do you want to sit down? Thank you. No, 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 I, I'm all right. It's, it's Pippa. Pippa who? Uh, you remember Pippa, Pippa Harris. Oh, the short antibus with the big... <laughs> yeah. What, she's had an accident? No, she's having a baby. Oh, dear. What do you mean, oh, dear? We're married. You're not. <laughs> well, congratulations. How long have you been married? Eleven months. No, oh, I didn't mean that. Well, 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 Pippa, eh? What do you mean, well, well, well? Oh, nothing, nothing. Well, let's go to maternity and see her. <laughs> She's not in yet. What? Well, the BB isn't due till Saturday. Well, what's the matter then? Well, well, nothing yet, but you know. Has the pregnancy been normal? Well, yes. Well, yes. then there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry about. She might have a prolapse cord. Hey, Hugh. Doctor Evans, I don't believe it. Well, the previa. Yeah, good to see you. How are you? Horrible. Contracted pelvis. His wife's expecting a baby on Saturday. Wife? You're married? Congratulations. Yes, congratulations. Thank you. What's the matter? Isn't the baby his? Oh, he's not. <laughs> Who's the wife then, Hugh? Pippa. Pippa? Pippa. Oh, Pippa! <laughs> well, 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 mm. you old devil. What do you mean? Pippa, well, well, well. But I wish you wouldn't say it like that. What are you doing here then? Oh, well, I heard you lot you were in casualty in the evening, so I thought I'd pop along and see who's in charge of maternity. Uh, it's Bingham. Bingham? Mm, Lawrence Bingham. That prat. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Pretty good at his job, though. Well, I'd uh, better pop along and see him, and then I'd better get back. Pippa's been on her own for nearly half an hour. Well, you can stay for a drink, Hugh, surely. Ah, uh, no, no. Perhaps when the baby arrives. <laughs> well, uh, see you Saturday, then. Hope so. Yeah, cheers. Yeah, might never happen. Dang. Shut up, dear. <laughs> He's in a bit of a state. Pippa, eh? Well, well. well. Upton. Hello, Bingham. Well, you haven't seen Evans, have you? You? Hmm. No, no, I haven't. Yeah. Why? Well, I was just popping over to maternity and I'd wonder if he's brought in his wife yet. I mean, after all, she is due to uh, a pup this evening, isn't she? <laughs> oh, yes. Still, first one. Probably be a bit late. Yes, yes. Well, I hope she won't be too long. <laughs> Can't wait to get at her. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Doctor? Yes, sir. This patient wants his valve changed. Uh, what sort of valve, Doctor? Oh, Mr... Um... Uh, Sherman, Doctor. Yes, I I'm afraid the old one's gone. So if I could just bother you for another one. Yes, uh, what sort of valve would this be, Mr Sherman? Well, just an ordinary valve. Like Professor Loftus usually gives me. Yes, but uh, a pulmonary or a mitral? Or... No, 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 no. You don't understand, Doctor. Look, Professor Loftus keeps them over there. Just an ordinary valve. For the back of my head. <laughs> the back of your head? Oh, my God. Look, would you so very much mind changing it or I shall shortly pass away? Nurse, would you ask Professor Loftus if he could come down to casualty straight away, please? Certainly, Doctor. The professor will be with you in a moment. Well, just so long as you realise that I'm ebbing away. <laughs> doctor? Road accident, Doctor. A bang on the head is knocked out and the ankle's twisted. Thanks. I don't think it's serious. Well, let's uh, have a look then. Hugh! Where am I? <laughs> it's okay, you're in casualty. Take me to maternity. Huh? <laughs> Must be worse than I thought. No, 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 it doesn't look too bad. Paul, it's you. Yeah, of course it's me. Maternity! Oh, Hugh, what's the matter? Oh, well, he's cut his head and the ankle might be fractured. Oh. We well, better get into x ray. Where's Pippa? I'm here, darling. Oh. Are you all right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm great, darling. I never felt better. Mind my bloody foot! <laughs> it's not too serious. We're running him across to X-ray to check the ankle. Maternity! Well, it'll only take five minutes. Take me down, bloody oh, maternity! Oh, are you all right? Sit oh, fine. I'm a bit startled, but... Oh, well, tell me, what, what happened? Well, he was bringing me into hospital. You mean the baby's on the way? Oh, no, no. No, I had one tiny little contraction about half an hour ago, but she panicked. He's been in a terrible state, you know, Michael. You'd think it was the Queen having quads. <laughs> Anyway, he hit an ambulance. Well, he nearly braked in time, but he went over the handlebars, you see. And... The handlebars? Over his motorbike. 
You mean he was bringing you into hospital to have a baby on the back of his motorbike? No, no, I was in the sidecar. Well, well how big is a sidecar? Well, nearly big enough. <laughs> anyway, there wasn't much of a jolt, but he went over the handlebars, you see, and hit his head on the ambulance. And I don't think he would have hurt his leg, but he landed on a first aid box that was lying about. <laughs> and then he got up and said, I am a doctor, and fell in a heap. <laughs> Pippa! Hello, Dick. Long time no see. X-rays are fine. Husband and Bruce is doing well. Thank goodness. It's a pretty bad ankle sprain, but the cut's OK. Thanks, Dick. Well, we'll, we'll get you a cup of tea, and then we'll fix up you and all go over to maternity together. But can't I come with you? Where? To? To where you patch up Hugh. Ah, uh, well, I don't think... We're not really allowed... Well, to... Hugh might want me there. And I should worry if I wasn't, and that wouldn't be good for the baby, would it? Yes, yeah, she's quite right. Yeah, well, supposing Loftus looked in. I tell you what, we'd dress her up as a nurse. Oh, great. Come on. Do you think you've got a uniform big enough? Oh, <laughs> I doubt it. Well, we've got <laughs> Up and... Ah, oh, there you are, sir. Correct. Oh, I called you. Correct. Well, there's a patient who wants his valve changed. Yeah. In the back of his head. Well, why didn't you change it? Well, I, I didn't really know... Ah, Mr. Sherman. Professor Loftus, how very kind of you to come. Gone again, is it? Yes, didn't last long, I'm afraid. Well, let's put a new one in quickly. I'm sorry to bother you, but this young doctor was hopeless. So sooner than pass on, I thought I'd better call you. Hmm, quite. Well, let's find a nice new one that'll last a good long time. Ah, here we are. Yes, that's a beauty. That should last for six months. <laughs> right, now let's have the old one out. Here we are. And the new one in. Good. There's the old one. Filament's gone, you see. We'll throw that one away for you. Nice to see you, Mr. Sherman. Thank you very much, Professor. I don't know where they train them nowadays. Now, couldn't you have done that, Upton? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean Don't bother me with the cuckoos. Just ask a few more questions. Sorry, sir. When I'm off to dinner, tell nurse if there are any real emergencies, I shall be at the Dorchester. Good God. Evans. Hello, sir. What on earth have you done to yourself? Had a bit of an accident, I'm afraid, sir. The cut's not deep. Correct. <laughs> well, Evans, I should count it my privilege to put your stitches in myself. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, um, don't bother, sir. I can manage. So can I, Upton. I'm a professor, you know. <laughs> ah, well, I didn't mean that, but, but you'll be late for your dinner. I am already late for my dinner, Upton. I shall merely be a little later. It's the very least I can do for one of my old students. Take him in, nurse. Um, yes, but... Where's Pepper, mate? Shh. Where is she? Where's my wife? Oh, uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, Clark. Professor Loftus is going to do the stitches. Oh. Good. Wonderful. Give Evans a local for the cup, will you, Clark? What's the matter? Where is she? No, 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 Pippa! <laughs> oh, bloody hell! <laughs> Good, well, let's begin. I'm afraid the nurse isn't here yet, sir. <laughs> is there a history of insanity in your family, after? <laughs> no, sir. Bring the suit your trolley over, will you, nurse? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't, didn't see her. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> what, Upton? Yes. Yes what? Uh, yes, sir. Just yes, sir? Yes, correct, sir. Forceps, please. Put the cetablin in the galley pot, please. Oh! 
Besser. No problems. Nice clean cut. Thank you, sir. Jolly decent of you. Either saying yes or no, up. Yes, sir. Why? Correct, sir. Um, nerves, sir. Needle holder, please, nurse. <laughs> Needle holder, please, nurse. Good Lord! <laughs> Good Lord, what, Clark? Uh, uh, Good Lord, uh, I, I suddenly thought it looked much worse than I now uh, realise it is, sir. <laughs> Clark, if I wanted someone to make inane comments during my operations, I should hire Kenneth Wollstoneholm. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, I, I mean, no, sir. I'm sorry, sir. A continuous suture on a half circle, please. What? No! Upton! No, sir. Oh, God! What? <laughs> I've got to go! What? I must fly. So nice to have met you. Oh! The baby! The baby! No! Right, that's enough. Am I to understand that a nurse is about to give birth in my theatre? Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes and no this time, Upton. Well, well, she's not a nurse, sir. I was beginning to suspect that. But she is about to give birth, sir. Yes. You, you see, what Upton, happens? are you responsible for this? Well, well, yes, sir. Yes, I'm responsible too, sir. Uh, and me, sir. I beg your pardon. Oh, no, <laughs> Was me, sir. <laughs> you Evans? Yeah, th th that's my wife, sir. Your wife? Yes, sir. You remember Pippa, sir? Pippa Harris. Pippa Harris? Oh, Pippa, the shorthand typist with the big. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> How do you do? <laughs> Absolutely fine, my dear. No problems. Oh, good. And how are you feeling? Your contractions any stronger? Well, they are a bit. Well, you really shouldn't be on your feet, you know, my dear. Ah, Upton. You'd so... better get Mrs. Evans over to maternity. Right, nurse. And I'd better be off to the Dorchester. Evans, you feeling okay? Ah, uh, yes, thank you, sir. How's the ankle? Pretty painful, thank you, sir. That'll be all right. Oh, uh, I'm sorry about all the facts. I'm oh. sorry too, Professor. It was all my fault, really. No, no, not at all, my dear. No, no, no. It was entirely Upton's fault. <laughs> Contraction. Quick, it's coming! Um, into the chair. For God's sake, got here. All right? Be careful. Shut up, shut up, Hugh. Be yes, careful. Yes, shut right. up, darling. I'll be with you in a moment. Bring my hold on. Yes, yes, here it is. Lie down. Just Calm down. Oh, did give us a hand maternity. What the hell's he done now? Hurry up, people. Come quickly oh, after this. Shut up, Rob. Bring on, my leg. Transverse line. But not very likely. Yeah, well, just supposing she's going to Look, it's going to be perfectly straightforward, Hugh. I bet you a fibre. Yeah, well, a fat lot do you know? Could, could we go straight through, nurse? Could be a little urgent. Yes, doctor. Name, please. Evans. But we've just had Mrs. Evans. Oh, yes. This is Mr. Evans. Quick! It's coming! <laughs> of women having babies every second of the day. Well, it's all right for them. They know all the things that can go wrong. I'm a doctor. I got a bloody great book full of things that can go wrong. I mean, she could develop IPH or hypertension or hydramnia or sort of clubs. Dick, I think or he needs a drink. That's not a bad idea. I'll be in the bar if you want me. 
Ah, Colin. Ah, Bingham, you know who you haven't Yes, 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 we met. It's your Oh, <laughs> what a day. What, you mean the accident? No, no, I mean here we've had an occipital posterior, a prolapse cord, and two super breaches. Two super breaches? <laughs> Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> what? what? Oh, yes. Oh, I bet you're a bit nervous. Eh? Why? <laughs> Why should I be nervous? Is there something wrong? No, no, no. You're hiding something. No, I'm not. Well, there's, there's no sign of dehydration in here like that. No. Uh, no. How, how about eclampsia? No, no. Well, well, not really. What? What? <laughs> what do you mean, not really? Well, there is a bit of proteinuria. Proteinuria? But, uh, that's nothing. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Dust contamination. Yeah. Uh, supposing it's hypertension. <laughs> hypertension? <laughs> hypertension? Oh, she's, she's been having headaches. <laughs> no, I don't think it's hypertension, Evans. <laughs> you don't? No, no. 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 It might be pylonephritis, but it's... Pylonephritis! Hey, what's that? Huh? I beg your pardon? Oh, 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 excuse me, butting in. But I couldn't help hearing you gentlemen talking about headaches just now. Only my wife's been having headaches. Yes, well, that's yeah, absolutely yeah. natural. Yes, that's nothing to worry about. You don't really think it might be pylonephritis, do you? No! Has she been having back pains? Oh, my God. Yes, oh. So is Mr Granger's wife. Yeah, Mr Granger, have a talk with him. Look, look, millions of women have back pains. Yes, yes, yes. uh, unless, of course, it's hypertension, and then we've got a complete... You just said Pippa's not got hypertension. Well, I can't be sure. Oh, Bingham! Has she been having headaches? Yes. So uh, is my wife. Well, what's her blood pressure now? Well, normal. No, no, Pippa's! Oh, Pippa's, well, it's a little bit high. Oh, my wife's is high. Yes, Will you stop pushing me, Aunt Jen? It's, it's a bit high. <laughs> yes, and she's got back aches, too. Oh, oh, this is Mr Granger. Oh, how Hello, do you do, Mr, Mr. Granger? Yeah, I'm Dr Bingham. nothing to worry about. Nothing to worry Go and check out the proteinuria. Hey, what's that? Proteinuria is a type of disease. Please! Bingham! Did you get that with the pain here? Yeah, please, no, you, you all back to my wife's no, 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 letting us know. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, Doctor, thank you so much for coming. There's a patient just arrived, a Mr. Manderson. He's complaining of abdominal pains, mostly subumbilical. Well, how ill is he? Well, he arrived here in a taxi, but the pain seems pretty bad. It's intermittent. He's in here. Good evening, Mr. Manderson. Oh, good evening, Doctor. Well, what seems to be the trouble? Well, it's, uh, it's stomach pains, Doctor. They're rather bad. Something you ate? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, now, you work under Professor Loftus, don't you? Yes. Well, it's uh, like this. Uh, he operated on me last December, a partial gastrectomy up in Patrick Snooth Ward. Yes. Yes, well, it was all right until about three days ago, and then these pains started, and, well, they've been getting worse. And then after my dinner tonight, uh, I felt something hard in here, and I coughed a bit, and I found something in my mouth. A nut, Doctor. <laughs> Uh, had, had you been eating nuts? Uh, no, I, a metal nut, Doctor. <laughs> and uh, I went on coughing and I brought up a screw. <laughs> then after about ten minutes, two more nuts and then a little spring. Oh, uh, how extraordinary. Uh, uh, have you got them with you? Oh, yes, here, here Doctor. <coughs> <coughs> Is it from a surgical retractor? Well, I wonder, Doctor... Because after the operation, there was a sort of rumour about something being missing. I'd um, better have a look at your stomach. Well, I mean, I'm not one of the sort to make trouble in the law court. <laughs> Hello, laughter speaking. Upton. No, no, no. I've already had three spoonfuls of soup. <laughs> all of which I greatly enjoyed, thank you very much. A gastrectomy. December. Have you checked the scar? Yes, sir. It's about six months old. Oh, well, that sounds possible. I had a new theatre sister then. You sure it's a surgical retractor? Practically positive. He's coughed up six different bits. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'd better come back then. I'm not exactly delighted, but we can't take the chance. Admit him to Patrick Snooth and get the emergency theatre ready. Yes, sir. Oh, and Upton. Yes, sir? You did quite right to call me. Oh, thank you, sir. I wasn't too sure whether I should or... Hello? Well, that's all sorted out. How are you feeling? Oh, a bit easier, Doctor. Thank you. 
Well, uh, everything's under control. Oh, thank you, Doctor. Uh, no, 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 I really do want to thank you, Doctor. I think it's wonderful the way you help us. Well, it's just part of the service. No, 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 no. I really do have a very soft spot for you, Doctors. The way you work so hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, when this is over, I'd like you to come down and spend the weekend with us. <laughs> It's very kind. Yeah, my wife would like it, I know. We've got a nice little place in the country. It's not much, just a, a little old castle that I picked up very cheap. Castle? Oh, it was very cheap, but uh, we've got a bit of shooting and fishing and our own little golf course. You must bring your clubs if you play. Well, no. My I... wife plays. Oh, you'd like her. She's a princess. Of course, we don't tell everyone, you know, not a with princess? all the first time. She's over 4,000 years old. <laughs> oh, um, I forgot to tell you, when, while you were away, I, I coughed up these. What's <laughs> that? Yes, and that copy of The Lancet and this saw and a, a dear little frog, but he ran away and hid under there. Anyway, I'll send down the VC-10 to collect you. Uh, the pilot's made of wood, but he sings like Tito Gobby. <laughs> He's a cuckoo! Um, nurse! Doctor, Professor Loftus is um, just coming, so if you... Tell him I'm, I, I've been called away. Away? Yes, um, I, I must rush, rush. Um, mm. Good Lord, I'll... Um, uh, well, where will you be if he wants you? I'll be in... Um, boom! <laughs> Shut up! Oh, it worked. <laughs> Everything all right, Mike? Yes, just some uh, nutcase. Evans, oh. you can come in now. She's nicely on the boil. <laughs> well, here we go, then. Good luck, then, Hugh. Good luck. Yeah, good luck, you Welsh gift. You'll be all right. You're right. After all, it's perfectly natural. Yeah. Women all over the world are happy to give him birth. Second every second, second, second of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Went out like a light. Well, he's better like this. Yeah. Is Pippa OK? Oh, yes. Uh, Palmer said something about a episiotomy. Oh, Any fetal distress? Where, oh, no, no. Where am I? You fainted, you twit. It was a bit of uh, heart condition after the uh, contraction, which we both. Has she had it yet? No, not yet. Is she settling down all right? Is she OK? Yes! You liars, take me back in! Don't be silly. No. I want to go back in! No, you'll only faint again. I won't. You will. If you don't want me to get back in, I shall scream! Oh, shut up. No, no. Right. Yeah! Leave me alone! I thought that a bloody good you are! A chap might as well turn into his own bloody... <laughs> what was that? Uh, Evans, it's a boy. It's a boy? Oh, it's a bloody boy! It's a boy! Yeah! Oh, God, what the hell did it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry. all right now, my dear. No problems. Is he? Just a few more stitches, I'm afraid, but nothing to worry about. How are you, Pippa? Oh, fine. And the baby? Oh, he's lovely. <laughs> Do you know, I had no idea it could all be so easy. What? Uh, Pippa? Yes, right? I don't think... I hope you don't mind me saying this, but I don't think you ought to have any more. What? What do you mean? What did the doctor... No, no, it's just that, um... Well, I don't think Hugh can take it. Oh, 